Uh, we're going to do part two of the City Hunter intro video. So whereas in the first one we talked about the style of it, in the second one we are going to go through styling. Um, so one way you could style the City Hunter 2 is exactly how I'm wearing it today. Uh, so you know it is a very like loose fitting easy garment. So I paired it with very full gray linen trousers like this. And uh, I'm going to show you a few other ways now. You know, the first time I saw the Teba, which was the introduction, uh, which was the inspiration for the City Hunter, um, it was in Madrid, and I was there for a meeting with Carmina, and um, there was this older gentleman just walking in the neighborhood, and he looked so elegant. Uh, and I remember it very well. He was wearing an olive Teba with a white shirt and gray trousers and a pair of loafers and a knitted navy tie, and he was walking his Jack Russell Terrier and he just looked great. And it's an image that like stayed with me for a long, long time. And so eventually when I figured out what the hell he was wearing and where we could get it and all that stuff, I was like, oh, okay, that's, that makes perfect sense. So this is an homage to that old gentleman. So we got gray pleated trousers. We've got a white button down shirt and a simple striped tie from Tire Tie. And you can put it together like that. And in terms of shoes, actually, I like black tussle loafers. You know, so we've kind of recreated that classic navy blazer look, but using a city hunter instead of a normal navy blazer. And I think that it looks great, like as an alternative, like a kind of quirky or more fun alternative to a navy blazer. Um, moving on, let's say you didn't want to wear a tie. I think you could do this. I think you could do navy chambray. So this is one from Liverano. I think they did a lovely job with this design. It's got really interesting hardware on it, really beautiful buttons. Um, and I think you could wear this open necked, um, again with those gray trousers. I think in this case, maybe with brown loafers, brown pennies like that. I think that's pretty cool. So that's another way of styling the City Hunter 2. And let's say you um, don't want to wear gray trousers. Uh, I think you could do this then. I think you could wear khaki chinos like this. You know, and pair it with a white t-shirt. So like we do white t-shirts with Nigel Caborn as a collaboration. They're actually raglan sleeve t-shirts too, which I think is super cool. And you could definitely wear it like that. And then I would pair it with, you know, now that you're wearing chinos, you gotta think about your belt. Um, like a fabric belt like that, I think is really nice. This one's from Anderson's and it's got this nice kind of fox colored trim on it. And then maybe a pair of bit loafers from Carmina. So you have this kind of 80s preppy vibe going on, which I think is kind of interesting. And in fact, this would be a good working from home outfit too, just because it's soft, it's comfortable, um, but it's still, you know, like visually very interesting and very presentable as well. Um, and there you go, a couple ways to style the city under two. You know, just before I sign off, I'd like to add that if you follow me on Instagram, markcho.com, um, part one of this video, we had some really interesting comments from some Spanish viewers uh, who talked about other kind of details of how the City Hunter, I mean, the, sorry, the Teba originated. So if you have a chance, like, check out the comment threads because I think there's some really interesting information in there. All right, thanks for watching.